Plus all as well with you. I have a quick video to share with you. It's an unboxing of a DC breaker for DC electricity. It's the Bossman 187 series by Blue Sea Systems. I purchased this breaker from the popular website eBay from a very popular seller there called Bay Marine. Um, I have looked around on, on the internet and I have found that they have one of the best price available. This particular one is 100 amps, rated at between 12 to 48 volts. Now, with all further ado, let's get into the package, see what comes. Now, with the envelope removed, let me just put that aside. We have a box which the item comes in. Um, there is nothing really written on it, but this is a nice touch. I am happy with the packaging. I personally prefer what you might want to call bulky packaging and the reason why is because I ship my items from the United States, from Miami, to my country, Guyana, and therefore all the protection I can get is better for me. You guys might have your personal preference and nothing is wrong with that. Anyway, to further ado, let me get into forward into this unboxing. When the box is open, we have a packaging slip, as it says there, Bay Marine Supply Company. Um, and as I said, I purchased for $49.99 US on eBay. So this is our packaging slip. Let me just put that aside. This I'm particularly happy about. This is a nice touch by Bay Marine Company. This item actually comes in this little box. But what they did is that they raised this part and this part of the box and they secured this small Part, this small box with tape here. So basically what happens is that during shipping if this were to shake a little bit and all of that The item would be well secured. That's nice. I have to commend Bay Marine Company for that Anyway, let me just move this box aside Now this is the actual item in the here if you look at it you would see it says circuit breaker by Bay Marine Company and that's basically it. There is nothing much. It says 187 series circuit breaker, Bossman 100 amps. So that's it. Let me just get into this part here to show you what the actual item looks like. Oh, this is beautiful. This is wonderful. In fact, I have one of this item like this before, you know. I actually have a, a 40 amps in my system already, my solar system. As I said, this is a DC breaker, not AC. So I have one in thing, but I actually purchased a new 24 volts, a new 24 volts inverter, and I realized that I would have need for this again, another one. I'm um, seeing that the other the other 40 amps one that I have had performed so good so far. I decided to invest in another. So this is what it really looks like. Force impression, very good presentation. Let me just give it a quick twirl around so you could see what it really looks like. There are some mountain holes and so on here and the two posts for your connections. Now this item has three mountain holes as you can see. This is the surface mount item, not the flush mounted. Anyway, it has three mountain holes, two at the top here and one at the bottom. According to information presented, it says that these holes can accept a number 10 screw, also known as a M5. You guys might know what I'm talking about. I don't really run to the hardware store for screws though. I have many different sizes and so on at home. So I just basically test see which one will work best for me. It might be different with you guys. The two posts, if you look at them very clearly, it specifies which side you're going to put the load as against which side you're going to put the line in. Um, take a closer look. Over here is the load. So this part you're going to put the load the wire out the load wire here and this is the line in means that it's going to come from the battery. Um these posts are 516 of an inch, 516th. So you can find some nice ring terminals to go with this. Um it's very snug, it's very secure. It comes with washers, lock washers. So when you secure your ring terminals there and you tighten it you shouldn't have an issue um, there's some information here it says basically that the item is a 100 amp um, it's 
rated up to 48 volt DC so it means it can be used with 12 24 or 48 volt battery bank now the item is waterproof according to the manufacturer so it's good for marine usage I am using it at home um, for my solar system this part here is the is the switch um, as you can see it's either off or in the trip position and when you want it on you just basically pull this and you hear a little click that basically means it's on so therefore if there is excessive electricity more than 100 amps DC running through your wires this is rated to trip so it goes off like this and you can reset it whenever you're ready now according to the manufacturer it says that you cannot hold this in place if there is a fault this would never work if you hold it in place once there is a fault in with your wiring or something to that nature you cannot hold this in place it's gonna cut off like that so this is basically it um, this item as I said is rated up to 48 volts so you shouldn't have a problem using it with a 12 24 or 48 volt battery bank this item weighs approximately 5 ounces um, this is a quick test I decided to do just to verify if the item is functioning because I haven't got around to installing it as yet um, now I'm using my handy dandy multimeter just to test to verify that there is a continuity between pole to make sure that the item is functioning um, basically if you look you can see that I have set my multimeter to the continuity and you can actually uh, put these testing terminals that I have, the red and the black, on any side. It would work, no problem. Now, notice the Bossman 100 amp breaker is on the on position. So let me just touch this here. And you hear that? Once you hear that, it means that there is a continuity in the circuit. Now, let me just take it off and you guys would see the difference. Here again is another test. Um, notice that the breaker is now on off position and let me just test for continuity and I'm now touching both of my testing leads to the both of the poles and I'm not getting any reading it basically means that the breaker is functioning um, at least to the effect of electricity whether it's flowing or not so that's just a quick test to verify whether the breaker is functioning or not so that's basically it guys this is what you get with um, when you purchase one of these DC breakers one of these whether it's 148 amps or whatever it is 50 amps this is what the breaker looks like this is the surface mount um, one as I mentioned there is also a flush mount where you can you know you just make an in a hole on the wall and you just you know fit this inside however I like these I like the surface mounts so you can see what's happening here basically you should understand that breakers whether it's DC or AC they are not really designed to protect the equipment as much um, in my case it would be my inverter they are basically designed to protect the circuit because what happens is that if you're trying to force more amps more electricity in through a wire more than what the wire is rated for the wire would tend to get hot and if it gets too hot it can start a fire so when you put these breakers or even fuses in, in between um, in the circuit, it basically protects the wire that in case there is any kind of overload or short circuit or there is too much current coming through the wire for whatever reason, these circuit breakers or fuses, they can just strip um, and then they actually would protect your, um, your, your, your circuit. So uh, without further ado, let me just say thank you for looking at this video. I would be grateful if you can like and subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends. Leave comments below um, whether you like or dislike. And if there's any other questions, you can also leave the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I would put in the description below, you can also find a link to this item. I'll put both the Amazon and the eBay link. All up to you, whichever one you want to purchase. Thanks again, guys, and do have a good one.